Hey guys, so Grace is still in Greece, enjoying the sun and beaches, so you only have me today, sadly. Anyway, as you've probably guessed, today's review is on Season 2, Episode 9 of Only Murders in the Building, titled Sparring Partners. So I'm going to get straight into it, but before I do, please make sure to like and subscribe to The Debate Hunt. So... First of all, I mean, we get that look into craps, and I'm going to go into that a bit more at the end. And Charles raises up the point that I made in last week's review of what's the motive? Like, why would he do it? And so Charles thinks that craps is not really the whole criminal mastermind, as he put it himself. So, yeah, and I'll discuss that a little later because we find out a bit more during the episode and yeah so mrs gambolini came back in again the parrot for anybody who yeah anyway so um charles and oliver are having a little like push and a shove sort of thing and a little compartment at the bottom of the cage like opens up and it's got the painting in it hmm interesting and then that also links to links to what happens later on so they find out that that is actually the original and yeah um after that charles figures out that actually bunny's mother the woman who came to visit and who went where's my painting something like that from episode two perhaps actually turns out to be Rose Cooper because Leonora Leonora? Bunny's mother is like in a care home sort of thing so that was very interesting I like as as soon as he discovered that that woman wasn't Bunny's mother I was like oh my god who is that woman like is she involved and then he figures out that that is Rose Cooper and that actually makes sense that was amazing because I didn't even think about like where Rose Cooper went or like what happened to her or anything like what happened there but yeah and then Mabel goes to the gym and she confronts Kreps and that was amazing and Kreps is scary he is horrible oh my gosh didn't like him at all and yeah, she sort of sort of gets an idea that something more is going on, that Kreps is involved, but it's not just him. And and that involves a little chicken logo, which, of course, we'll be, we'll be talking about right at the end. But I want to talk about the DNA results, because this is something I've been wondering about. I mean, I think we all knew how this was going to, what was going to happen and how it was going to go down. Uh, oh, poor Oliver and the fact is that you know Will was even scared he didn't say anything to Oliver probably because I mean if I was in that case I wouldn't want my my parent to like feel upset or even more worried that I was thinking about it and like thinking in the negative sense that oh my gosh they're not going to be my father they're not going to be my mother or whatever it is but yeah, and he lies. He lies to Will. He says, yep, you're my son. I must be Greekish. And he also says that to Mabel and Charles. But when he meets um, Teddy in the lift or elevator with some of you guys, he confronts him and it's a bit... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I never really would have seen Oliver throwing a punch, but that was funny. That was not expected but sort of expected because how would you react in that situation and yeah I mean Teddy's even surprised because he was only with her for like a night and that was it so yeah um, poor Oliver because you can really see how heartbroken he is and he says it I think I mentioned it in last in like one of the previous episodes of reviews one of the previous episodes what I meant to say that he that will is literally all he has like he doesn't 
really have a lot he's all alone and now and now happily because this whole podcast and this whole murder mystery thing he's got Mabel and Charles but before that he was he was literally by himself he was all alone and to think that you know if Will finds out perhaps Will might not want that relationship because he saw how happy Will was when he was like you're a Putnam you could see like how relieved he was and yeah but what would you do in that stage like you have to tell them the truth right and it's it's just so sad poor Oliver like how how why do they make it so sad like what was the whole point but it was nice because it was nice getting to see Teddy and Oliver like talk about it and like discuss like their backgrounds like how like with their sons like how they treated them and how there was still sort of some sort of similarity and also um how, how their fathers were with them like how, what was like is, is that how, why the why they're that sort of father figure to their sons right now but yeah um I, I do wonder will Oliver actually tell Will the truth at some point because Will and Theo are half brothers which is crazy and it sort of does mean that Oliver and Teddy now need to be a bit more civil. Even if they were always sort of civil, but it's a bit rocky because of the whole whole season one thing. <laughs> I don't want to explain the whole thing because you guys already know it, so there's no need for me to go through that. But yeah, um, yeah, so Kreps mentioned the all or nothing in Oklahoma. I think that's what it is. I'm just going to call it all or nothing um, podcast. And he's like, yeah, that's one of the real good ones. And that makes um, Mabel think. And she's like, hmm. And she finds out that that's a podcast that Cinder Canning did. And at that point, I was like, hmm. Because at the beginning of the episode, um Krebs was talking about he he found someone a spe- like he found a special woman and yeah I mean interesting and I was thinking hmm, could be Cinder Cam like at first I was thinking Rose Cooper like um Bunny's mother at that point like at, right at the beginning I was like it's a bit it's a bit Mm, it's a bit unlikely but they never say never but this actually makes more sense and yeah we we find out that they're working together for this whole mystery of what happened to Bunny and the whole painting and yeah I mean we, we find out from Rose Cooper herself that that um Cindy Cind- Cinder sorry not Cindy Cinder was asking about the painting so that's very suspicious so how she would know about the painting is perhaps she yeah I don't know there's still there's still a lot of questions that still need to be answered but yeah so they're together they're in a relationship Cinder and Krebs and they're working together and that makes sense now because like Charles said why is Krebs like what would Krebs motive be and this makes more sense because Krebs motive would be because he's in a relationship with the criminal mastermind Cinder and then the question is why did Cinder want the painting was it for money and then also like what's the whole Becky Butler sort of thing like yeah, because Poppy reveals that she's actually Becky Butler the girl from the All or Nothing podcast. Like, that, that is literally the mystery. So did, did Cinder just make the whole thing up just so she could have a good podcast and everything? Is that... Like, it's still very confusing. And, I mean, episode 10 is going to reveal quite a bit. I mean, the title is I Know Who Did It. <laughs> which is basically what um the parrot literally says 
Um, and yeah, it says the question of who Bunny, who, oh, sorry, the question of who killed Bunny is finally answered while a few others are raised. So it sort of seems like we're going to get more questions, which of course we will because they're going to want to want it to proceed nicely onto season three, just like they did for season one, proceeding onto season two. And I'm guessing we will see Bunny again in the last episode, similar to how they did it for season one. But yeah, um, not much. Yeah, I mean, this, this, we just need to know why now. Like, what was the motive? We know Cinder did it. Well, well, Cinder and Krebs, I should say. I'm just trying to figure out, like, so the guy decked out in black was Krebs. So perhaps I can't. I can't remember the the exact um how it looked, but that scene where Bunny is in the cafe with someone opposite her was that Cinder or was that Krebs? I can't. I can't. I don't think we've got to see too much, but. Yeah, I mean, why is Cindy doing this? Is this just for her views? Is this just for her um, podcast? Is that why? And poor Poppy, or should I say Becky, like, what is going on there? That is crazy. I'm so confusing. So, yeah, um, this episode was amazing. I absolutely enjoyed it, like, I never really saw any of this happening. I mean, I sort of thought, why why is Krebs involved? Like, what is his motive? And I was right, like, he's not the real, like, person. I mean, he is involved, but he's not the criminal mastermind. I'm going to just steal that because it makes perfect sense. And I was also right about the DNA results. I mean, I think, I don't think anybody thought that Oliver was actually... Like, sorry, Will was actually Oliver's son. So, yeah. Um, I never saw that Bunny's mother, who was in one of the previous episodes, actually was Rose Cooper. Uh, also, that confrontation with Alice was really good because, you know, Mabel, poor Mabel. I mean, honestly, this whole season has been a little sad, like, for some of them. Like, Mabel finding out that Alice is, like, actually using her and Oliver finding out that Will was actually not his son, and Charles just, you know, like, he's had so much happen to him in season one, and then thinking about his father again, and we hear that he he never really thought positively about his father, like, after the whole thing that happened, and find out that actually his father really loved him, which was which was really nice, but... It's been really hard hitting for Oliver and Mabel. <laughs> but I guess hopefully we'll get hopefully they'll be happy soon. And why was Cinder framing them? I mean, it makes sense, right? Because they had a very successful podcast and her podcast probably like the views probably went a bit down. And so that was probably why. And also it just makes sense because they're in the right place at the right time. Yeah, so, I mean, we, we know who did it. We know it's Kreps, and we know it's Cinder Canning. Uh, motive? Was it money? Was it about popularity? Was it about, like, giving those views and keeping, like, keeping that mainstream sort of thing? Um, was it about the painting? I mean, there's a lot of motives now, thinking about it. Um, if I've missed any, or if you have any ideas yourself, like, let me know down below. Um, so who, why, what was, what's the other one? How? I mean, we know how. So, yeah. I mean, it makes, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Yeah, now it's a question of how will this all wrap up? And I'm still wondering, where is Amy Schumer? Because <laughs> it's crazy. We only saw her for, like, one episode, and that was it. So don't know what happened there and the whole painting thing as well like but yeah very interesting and this episode was amazing and it's made me really excited for episode 10 next week which will be an amazing 
episode. It might be even better than season one's last episode. I don't know. I have to wait and see. But yeah, it's just a question of how this is all going to wrap up. And and like, like the little thing I read, like, while a few others are raised. So what other questions are raised? I guess probably about Becky slash Poppy. I don't know what they're going to stick with calling her. Probably Becky from now on. And, yeah, I mean, so I'm guessing Rose Cooper just wanted her painting. That was pretty much it. And this is probably the last episode we'll see her in. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for me. Um, thanks for checking out today's episode nine review. Stay tuned for next week's finale of season two of Only Murders in the Building. And like I said before, it's going to be a big one. And hopefully we'll have a nice link to season three, just like this one did from season one to season two of Bunny's Murder. And yeah, I mean, it's just so sad to see the journey is over. Like it's, we're, we're, we're over. Literally, we just need one more episode and that's it. And we have to wait for season three. And it's amazing how quick this all happened. And even though some of the episodes, like I remember saying, was a bit slow paced, it all came together now. Anyway, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our content, especially for episode 10's review next week. And yeah, that's it for today. But do leave a comment down below with your thoughts, theories, anything. Would really love to hear them and hear from you guys about anything. We've had some really good theories and stuff from episode eight's um, review video which was amazing thank you guys so much and yeah I don't, I don't know if I missed anything I, but if I have <laughs> missed anything important any little motive clues or anything whatsoever just let me know down below but yeah um have a great day guys and I'll see you next time especially for the finale next week so bye Thank you.